were born before the wind Also younger than the sun Yeah, the Bonnie boat was one As we sail into the mystic Welcome to Three, the most innovative metaphysical program ever created. Join Chris, Rainey, and Mona as these amazing intuitives provide you with a three-dimensional divination into your most important questions. Now, from Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, enjoy Three with our hostess, Mona Van Joseph. And we're back. Now we have our first caller. Now just to remind you when you're calling into the program to come up with a very specific question that you actually want in-depth insight and a three-dimensional view of how we're going to approach your question. So Christine will be answering your question first based on your astrology chart. Now we are very confidential. So she will know your birthplace, your birth time, and your birth date, but she's not gonna actually put that out there on the air. She's just going to tell you based on your birth date, the time of birth, this is where your planets were. But I'll, I'll let her take over that in a minute. Now, after Christine has given you her insight, then Rainey is going to give you her insight from what she's getting from messages from the other side. And she's going to spend about five to eight minutes with you. And then, and then when Rainey's done, I'm going to spread the cards for you. And I'm going to tell you what the cards have to say. So you're basically getting about a 15 to 18 minute reading from the three of us to give you in-depth insight and a view of what's going on with you. So, um, so do we have our caller? Yes, I think I, that's me or am I? <laughs> is this Mandy? This is, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I would like, I don't know, am I the only one listening? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there, we have a lot of people listening, but you're one of the yeah, few yeah. people that haven't been selected to be on the program to ask your question. So, so okay. you're going to address your question first to Christine, and so we would like you to ask your specific question. Now, we, all three of us will answer that one question, so you only need to ask it once, but Christine is at the ready with your chart in front of her to, for you to ask the question. So what's your question? Okay, so the question I had come up with is, how can I improve my spiritual path? Ooh, okay. Hi, Mandy. Hi. <laughs> okay, so um, first of all, I love your chart. So I have it right here. What we're going to do is we're going to look at your natal chart, and this is based upon your birthday, your time of birth, and where you were born. So it's very, very specific to you. Um, and then I'm going to look at your progress chart. Your progress chart is... It's basically the evolution of your soul in this lifetime. So um, how to develop your spiritual, uh, your spiritual side? Was your yes, question? Please. Okay. All right. So um, the ninth house in astrology rules your spirituality, uh, your, your belief system. And so yours is ruled by Mercury. Okay. Mercury is the planet of communication. And this tells me that... Um, any kind of literature or reading, joining groups where maybe there's um, discussion, like topics where you can join in, learn, uh, collaborating with people, like-minded people, um, that's one way. And then also studies. Um, this is um, also the house of foreign travel. So if you've ever thought about maybe taking some type of sabbatical or some type of uh, foreign travel for like a spiritual retreat that would be really beneficial for you as well um, okay. th another aspect that you have here is um, that house is also ruled by um, uh, the moon and moon rules your emotions so um, this tells me that if you were to like kind of go into more of a meditative state kind of clear your mind, you'd be able to tune into your inner calling and your emotions, and you'll actually feel it more emotionally connected of the path that you need to take. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at, so that's based upon your natal chart. I'm going to look at your um, progress chart. So that is where you're at in, at this point um, in your evolution uh, in this lifetime. So Again, when I'm looking at your progress chart, I see that planet Mercury coming into your ninth house of spirituality. So that tells me that um, 
again, communication, communicating with like-minded people, uh, reading books, joining um, any kind of um, groups or um, anything where you're collaborating, communicating, um, that's going to be really beneficial for you. Okay. That was incredible. Thank you. Wow. You know, it's, uh, it's always interesting to me. When, when you're looking at someone's chart and, and they ask a specific question and you can zero right in on that house and be able to say, oh my gosh, communication, allowing um, spirit to, to put the blessings on you in a way. So I think Mandy is going to be going in a very, very strong adventure, but I, I know that Rainy can't wait to take over and, <laughs> and tell her things. She's grabbed her fabulous, beautiful amethyst here. So. Um, take it away, girl. Mandy, I wish I brought my RuPaul glasses because I would say, girl, you better work. <laughs> um, okay. What they're showing me is that you're having a hard time getting out of your own head. It would help you if you use solfeggio binaural beats and create a daily ritual. This is not something that you just jump to jump into. You have to ground yourself. You have to bring in those guides, bring in that energy, clear your mind. If you do, go on my website, you know my website, there is yeah. the 10 tenets of, of spiritual living and what it does is I do that and it doesn't take hours. When I wake up in the morning, I find one thing I'm really truly grateful for, not just generic stuff, I go deep and that raises my vibration and I step on that floor and I ground myself very, very into Mother Earth and I don't feel you're very grounded. I feel you're kind of like this beautiful little butterfly but then there's times where you just got out of the cocoon and you're holding on so tight, like, I am not going to fly yet. <laughs> Hells no. Girlfriend, it's time for you to fly. I feel just like what you were saying. You're starting this beautiful transformation. Continue it. But you have to have this daily ritual. It's just not something you turn on and off. Meditation is huge. I know. As soon as I said the word meditation, I felt your whole physical human form shiver. What? No, no meditation. No, you really have to do the work, my love. And once you do that, you create that ritual, you create that foundation, that strong foundation, you will fly. You will get those aha moments. And what I love about you, beautiful, is that you'll be able to use it and turn it on and off like a light switch and make it repeatable. You're there. And do the eat, pray, okay. love that you just oh, yeah. talked about and yeah. you yes watch the read the book watch the movie and it will create an energy within you because you're you're on the precipice of jumping and don't be afraid to jump what i love about life is i like change may is all about the month of movement i don't know what your chart shows you but may for me is movement so you've got to create that movement some way, shape, or form, and that's all in the ritual. Ground. Okay. Call in your guides. Meditate. Journal. Girlfriend, I also feel you astral travel. Why are you not keeping a journal next to the bed? Hello? Um, yeah, cocktails. <laughs> Want any gin, oh, yeah. mama? Uh, there's a lady by the name of Elizabeth April. She has a really great um, way to ask, learn how to capture those dreams, and it's setting the clock at two o'clock, uh, the alarm at two o'clock, waking up, and writing down everything you remember, then going back to bed. I know it sounds a little bit tedious, but before you know it, spirit is going to be unfolding a whole new world to you and trust and then google the heck out of the signs they may seem insignificant um lately i swear to you i have been seeing um monolith butterflies and i looked it up and i couldn't believe the message was exactly what i needed to hear and that's how spirit will communicate with you beautiful thank you so much okay. for your question you got this you just have to create movement and ritual I think okay. I think Mandy you are the perfect first caller for our debut program Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay so, so thank you here's, I was really nervous <laughs> here's what's so fun about this three-dimensional approach is that as Rainey's talking I I was reminded of Wayne Dyer and the fact that he would wake up every morning at 3 a.m. And he would sit there on the edge of his bed and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. You made me think of that. So I'm drawing out my cards right now, and I'm going to okay. draw five cards. Now, 
it, you may not be able to see this, but when you get to replay the program down the road, you'll be able to see me drawing five cards with my left hand. I draw with my left hand because it's closest to my heart. And, oh, these are beautiful cards. So the first card is called Comparison. And it's a card that resonates the number five. So here we are in the month of May. And the number five is always about fast-moving communication. This particular okay. depiction means that there's nobody in the world like you, and you're actually starting to recognize that. What's also interesting is the second card is called We Are the World, which is echoing what Christine said and echoing what Rainey said in the sense that um, there are people around you that are going to act as your omens or your signs. Like I always see 1111 and 444 on the clock. I see those. 1111, okay. 444. As a matter of fact, the clock just went to 444 where we're taping this right now. And it kind of made me smile because it was as Rainy was talking, which is really cool. So you're, you're a bit of a procrastinator. And there's a word that I try to not use in my vocabulary, and it's the word should. And I okay. don't want you to should all over yourself, all right? In other okay. words, I want you to actually, when you get that moment, I want you to do the five-second rule with that moment, that when you get inspiration, act on that five, within that five seconds, because it will make an impact on your brain and on your spirit that you took action on it. So when, when it flashes into your mind, either write it down and make a time or a commitment or, or a, 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 a entry in your calendar. I still use a paper calendar because I'm kind of old fashioned. And here's what's interesting is there's a younger man, dark hair, dark eyes, that you're going to become very close to in a friendship sort of form. He's somebody that, he, this is not in any way at all a romantic or sexual attraction. This is somebody okay. that you just feel like he's a little brother from another lifetime, but he has such a beautiful childlike, child um, naivete that you find yourself fascinated by him. And it feels like that this is the best friend that you want to have in your life for about a year because he's going to act as a catalyst for you in some way. So your question about spiritual journey is totally appropriate. It's just a question of you deciding to pick something and then do it. So, okay. oh my God. May I add one more little thing? Yes. So I love this card about letting go and it's the number eight. We are in the year eight. 2024 adds up to eight. Yes, Manny. Yes. So Manny, this is your year. Go for it, girl. Nothing is holding okay. you back but yourself. And I say that with love and grace. <laughs> Mandy, <laughs> we love that you were the first caller on three. So thank you so much. Blessings to you. And we hope to we hear some feedback about your journey. Oh, absolutely. Wow, wasn't that amazing? I have chills. I'm um, sorry. Uh, Mandy girl, I love you. Thank you for calling. Oh, my God. Wow, so, chills. You did great. So you know what's really interesting about this is that and, and, and I think some of you know this story, but I was, I was really wondering if this program would ever come together because um, I know that the women sitting with me are the perfect people to have here. And, and I think you feel it too, that, that here we've just had our first caller. It felt like it flowed like we'd been rehearsing it a hundred times. And I think that's wonderful. The, the interesting thing is, is that the, the, other, the other people that I approached to do this things were going on in their life that it wasn't good timing for them or they made a thought it wasn't a good fit for them. And you know what? I actually want to put that lesson out there and I want us to collaborate on when things don't go the way we think they should instead of suffering over it. There's cool. silver lining. It's, yes, It's meant to be. Right. So, and I've always been a believer that everything is divine timing. Right. And the harder you push doesn't mean that that's not right for you. So listen to your gut. Take that gut check, that, that solar plexus, and mm -hmm. listen to it. And things fall into place the way they are absolutely supposed to be, like that beautiful domino effect. Yes, absolutely. So do you have any thought of the day you'd like to share with our viewers before we decide to say goodbye for now? Yes. I am going to take lessons on how to take beautiful pictures and let go. So, Mandy, I'm on there with you, girl. i got to let go when I'm doing that and just flow. What's your thought for the day? 
I'm just very excited to be here and be a part of this. So, I, you guys, I have to tell you, let me tell you real quick before we go, because this is our program. We go as long as we want. We don't care. <laughs> so, um, Chris and I have known each other for over probably 15 years. And and I'm going to be honest, She, I used to do readings for her, all right? Well, recently, in the last couple of years, I discovered that her passion is astrology. Mm-hmm. I had no idea that 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 was part of where she really wanted to go in the future. And when she did my chart as a present to me, as a sweetheart move for me, I was actually blown away by what she told me. And I'm thinking, oh my God, she's wonderful. So, so when the other two astrologers decided to not do this program, the first person I thought of was Christine. And I am so blessed that you flew all the way here from Texas. By the way, we call her the Astro Cowgirl, which is wonderful. And then Rainy. Rainy, I remember you came to one of my uh, my charity events, one of my nonprofit events. And I, re- I remember almost begging you to be there because I really wanted to meet you in person. And then finally here you were. And I just went, there's something about this woman that is just so unique to her, which I absolutely love. So, you guys, it's a blessing to me that you're here. So here's my thought of the program. I want to leave you all with this. Number one, and I want you all to say this to yourself, nobody does what you do the way you do it. Number two, the people that are meant to find you will find you. And number three, you say to yourself, I'm open to my blessings and ready to receive. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of this And you'll see us again soon. Bye. Hi, my name is Edgar Alejandro. I'm the co-founder of Rising Again Productions. So we've been here in Vegas producing films for the past couple of years. And we've seen our fair share of studios. We've worked in our fair share of studios. And to be honest, WWDB-TV has been our favorite by far. John is so welcoming. Uh, The space is wonderful. It's, It's perfect for what we need. We've had rehearsals here. We've had callbacks here. We've had table reads here. So if you're a Vegas creative or really just a creative coming into Vegas, definitely check out this space, chat with John. I think you'll find that this studio has everything that you'll need as well. Welcome to three. I want to let you know that this is the only program ever on any media airwaves where three intuitive readers answer your one specific question. I have Chris, our astro cowgirl, I have Rainy, our clairvoyant medium, and myself, an intuitive tarot consultant, and we're here live at the WWDB-TV studios, and we're here to answer your question. Now, how do you submit your question? You go to the 3.vegas.website, T-H-R-E-E dot Vegas, there's no dot com in there, 3.vegas, and you submit your question. The contact form is very easy to use, and our producers will select the callers that get to be on the program. So when you call in, your, pro- your question is live with our readers, and you're going to be answered by our fabulous astrologer, our fabulous medium, and me, an intuitive tarot, intuitive tarot consultant. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words because this is, this is a little nerve-wracking for us to actually be doing something that's never been done before. We, this has never been done before. So I want real quick to have Chris introduce herself Say hi to everybody, Chris. Hello. Rainy. Hi, everybody. Welcome. And me, I'm Mona, and we're here to answer your question. Now, our caller for today is the fabulous Doug. So, Doug, are you on the air with us? I am. Yes, awesome. I am. Awesome. Okay, so, Doug, what is your specific question? And Chris is going to take it from here and answer your question from an astrology standpoint. So, my question is this. Well, I successfully launch a new career in the performing arts with a one-man show? Oh, what a great question. Hi, Doug. Um, Actually, I'm so glad you asked that question because when I pulled your chart, you have the most amazing career-like aspects I've ever seen. You have... Oh, my God, um, they're all in one area. That is his house of uh, career and what he's known for like what's his reputation it you have what is called a stellium 
in that area of your chart. And what that means is that there's four or more planets or four or more placements in that area of your chart. And so it magnifies, it amplifies that energy. And you have some really, really um, powerful um, uh, placements in that chart. So I'm, uh, and I'm excited to answer this question. <laughs> so um, okay. Okay. you cool. have uh, one of the placements is planet of Venus. So uh, Venus um, rules um, love and money. When we're asking about work or a career, um, it it's, um, you have a, uh, it's the metaphor, it's a, the, the, uh, iron fist and a velvet glove a, a way of getting things done like um people generally like you like they they like working with you so they think you're easy to we work already for love his voice so <laughs> he has great energy oh i know oh it's great gosh. so it really benefits you in your career because people really enjoy working with you and and they really like you um you have another placement and this is a very powerful placement it's your pluto pluto is um a very intense transformative powerful planet you have that in your house of career this tells me that you are capable of transforming your um career over and over again you you have you could have many different careers in one lifetime so maybe you have a very successful career and then you retire that and then you change it up and you so when you're asking me if you could have this um uh career especially in the entertainment industry is that what you said entertainment industry one man show yeah. so yeah. The, absolutely a one man show because you have all this powerful uh uh energy here you also have it ruled by leo so leo actually rules the entertainment industry <laughs> so um uh, i'm not okay. surprised that you asked that so um yeah. and then also let me tell you this the we have right here in your uh, in your career house is the um, you have the north node. Your north node is your placement of what you're supposed to fulfill in this lifetime, like what your destiny is. And so, for a lot of people, it's really uncomfortable. So it's beautifully aspected here. So this means that you easily step into that full potential, and it's in your career. So that's where you're going to find that. Um, you're drawn to putting your energy into it um, and also you have another planet because you have that stellium so you have another placement there um, planet uh, Uranus which is uh, the unexpected um, surprises so opportunities come to you um, yeah. like very easily and out of the blue it's like a, you'll meet someone who um, like you could be sitting next to someone on an airplane and they happen to be able to like help you in your career or some way or um, it, it's like a, an important connection that you end up making and it just comes out of the blue so synchronicities oh, cool. synchronicities a lot of synchronicities yeah wow that was powerful yeah it's he has a powerful career house wow. <laughs> we already like his voice so there we go all right rainy take oh, it from here my goodness now doug <laughs> spirit never tells me anything that you are not ready for and in my best ghost uh whoopi goldberg you're in danger girl <laughs> yeah. and the reason i say that is because i don't want you to let go of control of your creativity and give it to someone else you have and i don't want to say one shot but it's kind of like your first impression and when you give up that control to somebody else it doesn't resonate with your energy and how you want to come out there and just shine i literally hear you shining shine your light bright but when you give up that control they tend to kind of block the light it's kind of like the eclipse blocking the sun very powerful eclipse so be very very yeah. um don't make quick judgments on who you want to be uh who you invite into your space your sphere especially when it comes to your career path you can go places i see this growing bigger than you ever thought doug you're dreaming a little bit too small honey Dream bigger because your energy is big. You are light. I just see you walking out there and people are like, oh my gosh, he is fabulous. You have already brought me in. You've just grabbed me and you've got me hook, line, and sinker. But when you give up that control to somebody else, how you come across and how the vision is is not going to come from your heart. Does that make sense? Does that resonate with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, I feel a lot of times like... People try to steal the light. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, a hundred percent. Girl, you're talking to me. Uh, everything makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. So you're vibing with what I'm trying to tell you. I also feel like your feet really hurt. I'm also a medical intuitive, and never trust a psychic medium, especially when it comes to medical. Always go to your doctor. Uh, if it resonates, yay. If it doesn't, throw it away. But your feet are really going to start causing you some problems. And I would look into a professional, not an insert, because I think the insert is going to throw you off. Maybe reflexology. Does this resonate with you, Doug? Yeah, more my legs than my feet, yeah. Well, I think it starts with your feet because we all have meridians in the bottom of our feet. And once those are released, your energy will even flow better when you are out there just shining. So, Doug, my message to you is you go, girl, and shine your light. Shine your light. <laughs> I'm going to add. Go. To, okay. to, so, you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you are ruled by Neptune. Neptune rules Pisces. Pisces rules the feet. So, um, this actually, your, your feet are a very sensitive part in your body. Um, and so, take care of them maybe get massages yes. or anything you can to kind of nurture your feet. Um, so you're probably right. You know, that probably is definitely connected. It starts in the feet. Um, and then also um, water, like water retention, things like that, that also plays a lot into your feet health. When you start saying okay. that, I started getting chills and the butterflies on my arm are going to fly off any minute. <laughs> oh, wow. So okay. awesome. Doug, well, so cool. awesome. Oh, my gosh. Doug? It's dun, dun, my dun. turn. You know, okay, so sometimes I get impressions before I even turn the cards over, so I got I to gotta throw that out there. Number one, I keep getting the phrase in my head, show me your underwear. And I don't know why in the heck I'm getting that phrase, but I keep getting show me your underwear. And it's almost <laughs> as if you stand up in front of a group of people, and let's say you're addressing a whole group of corporate professionals, say human resources professionals, and you get up there and you say, show me your underwear. And it's all about, it might be a whole comedy one-man show thing about um, human resources people vetting their new employees. That there's a reason why there's a probation period that goes along with um, hiring someone. But I keep getting the word in my head, tell them, show me your underwear, show me your underwear. And it's, uh, it's not uh. about boxers or briefs. It's, it's, it might even be show me the holes in your underwear. But it's, it's a, <laughs> the weirdest phrase I just got for you. So now I'm going to draw the cards, and I want to see what they say for you. So um, I'm oh, drawing. Like show me your underwear. Huh. <laughs> right? Maybe it's, maybe it's the thing about being in front of a crew. Was it Jan Brady? They said for 10 people wearing your underwear or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yes, it was. That was my favorite show. <laughs> I loved Alice. By okay. Way. Yes. Okay. So you have a very interesting card smack in the middle of your reading, and it's a card called Isolation. And this card means you're around a lot of people, but frankly, you don't like a lot of people. So you can, you can work the room with the best of them. You can be Mr. Personality with the best of them. But really, when it boils down to at the end of the day, you just want to go home to your loved one and... Um, eat pizza and watch Netflix. You you just you 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 can be incredibly political. You could be incredibly social, but at the end of the day, you want your time. So um, and you have the ultimate politician card. Um, in, in traditional tarot, this is a card called the Chariot, and it shows um, a gladiator in a chariot. He's got a white sphinx and a black sphinx ahead of him. And really what he's doing is he's looking at his goal, but he's not looking at the energy that gets him to his goal. And he's got both energies right there in front of him, and he just has to tap both of them to go in a forward direction. He can't tap one or the other because he'd go in circles or he'd be dragging the other one along. But this card, and the way it's depicted in the Osho Zen Tarot card, it, deck, it cuts through the bull crap to get to what's most important to you. So... When I'm going to echo what these gals are saying, especially what Rainey said, is don't waste your time with people that cannot help you. So don't shine your light on someone that would go, that's a great idea. I'm going to go do it. All right. You, you are very, very um, conservative with who gets your genius and who gets your mojo. All right. Yeah. But there's no question that when you step into the spotlight, it's huge. But I wonder if the subject of what you start talking about is how you handle stress. Because there's a card right here that says stress motivates you, okay? 
So when I see that in someone's reading, especially with all the amazing cards that are around it, it means that stress is a motivator or an inspiration to you. You're ready to do it. You've never been more ready to do this. That's the maturity card that's smack in the middle. But you have the best card in the deck. Um, it's a card called Completion in my deck. In traditional tarot, it's called The World. And anyone that has ever looked at a tarot deck knows that the best card in the deck is The World. Now, the it's world, reversed, yeah. but it doesn't mean that's a bad thing. It's reversed because there's a puzzle piece you still haven't figured out. And I think that's the blessing that's coming to you. Um, I think Christine's seeing it. I think Rainy's seeing it. There's a blessing coming to you out of the blue, coincidentally, that is the final puzzle piece. It's the final inspiration for you. And you're going to kick butt and take names. I think that July of this year is a significant month for you. And by the way, oh. this is even more magnified if you happen to be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. May I add something real quick to this card? Yes. I love this card. So, Doug, you see right here, this is the third eye as well. Right. The final I, puzzle piece. Yeah. Yes. I don't want you to look at the situation with your human experience. I want you to go deep within your heart mm -hmm. from a spiritual place. Mm. And this card here, yeah. this, it's called Awakening. I'm going to use a awareness. Wizard of Oz, oh, awareness, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I'm going to use a Wizard of Oz reference. This is the man behind the curtain that I was warning you about. Ah, yes. Yeah. That, oh, my God. I got chills. Oh. Doug. I got my butterflies. Doug, how did you think your little reading with us went today? Um, it's interesting because, and, I, and I'll tell you why, because there are, there are certain people who have come into my life recently and um, have really been pushing me to do more creative stuff. Because, you know, I've been doing the same thing for many, many years, right. 30 plus years. Right. And so, and I'm frankly kind of bored. Right. And so, and, I, and it's so funny that, because we just moved to a new location, and I said to my partner today, I don't want to feel isolated like I did in the last place we lived. So it was, and it's about finding those people. I, I need to find my tribe. Yes. So, yes. And, and, and that's what my quest is right now. I have the ideas in my head. I've had, I've gotten some coaching from, a, I, I've done, taken improv classes, which I love, and I'm going to find them here as well. But it really feels like I'm moving in a direction where it's time to leave this other stuff, this consulting stuff behind. Doug, can um, I give you a little spiritual tip? I'm also a spiritual educator. And yeah. I want you to learn about your solar plexus. It's right above your belly button. The color is yellow. Mm -hmm. It's what I call my yellow brick road. It's your gut check. So when you start connecting with these people, close your eyes and just mm -hmm. feel it. And trust your gut. Because if you don't, you will be very, very sorry. And you'll come back and say, Rainy said to trust my gut, and I didn't. <laughs> Can I add a yeah. couple to Please. Yeah, oh, yeah, jump in. Oh, my God, Please. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so, Mona, I want to touch with Mona said um, July, the month of July. Um, so, yes, that would coincide with um, where your career house is. So, um, in July, because your, um, your career house is ruled by Leo. So, Leo is starts in July, that July season. So, um, uh, that... <laughs> and then the other thing I want to touch on too, um, you're actually really intuitive. Um, if I don't know if you're open to it right now, but um, your gift is there, it, it, and it's really, really, really strong. You have keen observation skills that allow you to really um, see people's um, ulterior motives and really like really understand like who they are and who they are to you. Um, so. Right. I'm so Ready's glad point. You trust said your that. point. Well, yeah, yeah, trust that your was intuition. Awesome. Yeah. You know, it's it's interesting because I get the vibration with you, Doug, that you can always find the devil in the room. Yes, that is exactly what <laughs> that's I've seen a in dun, the dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for tuning in and calling in today. Yeah. We've really enjoyed talking with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Gosh. <laughs> way more than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, and tell all your friends. Oh, oh, I will. All right. all right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Doug. Bye, Doug. Bye, Doug. Wasn't that amazing? Holy Schmidt. <laughs>
Holy Schmidt. I'm telling you, uh, we all have the same energy. We all felt him in the same manner, shape, and form. Yeah. And I think we delivered a very similar message, but just with a little bit of a different um, hook. Right. So that... Show me your underwear. I'm yeah, sorry. Just exactly. Like Show me your... Uh, I love that in the yeah. intuition part. Yeah. I'm so glad you picked up on that. It's amazing. Do we rock or what? We're amazing. <laughs> Girls. We rock. This is the best program <laughs> on the media where airwaves and we can thank the professionals at wwdb tv for bringing this to you thank weekly you. um so tune in go to the website three dot vegas www three dot vegas do you have anything closing you'd like to say to our f many fans out there um call us <laughs> we'd love to read for yeah, you go to the website go to the go website to the submit your question rainy don't forget to submit your question but when you submit your question Will I meet a guy? Will I meet a girl? No, please make it just like Doug did. Very specific. It helps us give you that detailed information that you desire. That's why you're calling in. Right, right. So when you submit your question, we're actually not going to ask you what your question is when you submit the question. Correct. We're going to, you, we're, you, that's going to be live. We don't know what your question is until you actually ask it live on the air. But that's what makes this program so unique. You will never find Chris, Rainey, and Mona anywhere else. So I want to say bless you. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Much love. Bye, everyone.